And we continue to have a great evening out there this evening after a very nice day. And let's take a look outside right now. Storm Team 5 Skyview cameras powered by Pella windows and doors. Those temperatures have gone from the mid 80s down to low 70s this evening. As we take a look at a really nice uh, Saturday evening on our Oshkosh camera. A look at the Fox River and we go from there to a our Main Street Bridge in Green Bay. We're currently at 72 degrees in Green Bay. Want to show you a live picture now of New Orleans uh, at where it's right now 78 degrees overcast. There's some rain down to the south and that's heading this way. And again, the main threat from Barry has been the very heavy rain since Barry's moving very slowly. It hasn't really moved all that much since it's made its way on shore and went from a category one hurricane to a tropical storm, so it's weakened. It will continue to weaken as it moves to the north, but because it's slow moving, it's dragging up all this moisture. So storm surge and very heavy rainfall is going to be the main threat as this continues to be the case as it moves to the north. Around here, though, not too bad. Pretty quiet out there this evening as we look at mostly clear skies, so nothing showing up on the radar. Satellite still has a few high thin clouds down to the south, but that's pretty much the extent of things for this evening and tonight. Next system is going to start to move in here probably by late tomorrow night. We'll say more like Monday now, and that could provide us with some showers and thunderstorms. But in the meantime, I think for most of tonight, it's going to be fine, and tomorrow should be fine as well. Right now, temperatures are in the 60s and 70s out there. Perfect evening. Dew point temperatures have been quite comfortable as well throughout the day, but if you notice, they're starting to climb now. Low 60s down to the south, so that's going to continue to push its way out up to north, make things feel a little bit more humid tomorrow compared to what we saw today. Winds generally on the light side, so we might even see a little bit of patchy fog out there uh, by early tomorrow morning. Otherwise, we're going to be looking at a pretty quiet night for the most part tomorrow morning. Uh, shouldn't be any problem if we do see any patchy fog in some of the low-lying areas. That's not going to last very long. And then we get into more sun as we head through the day. Now watch those clouds kind of roll in here. And this is implying more like very early Monday morning. Throughout the day on Monday, we'll get into more clouds. And there you see some showers and thunderstorms pushing through. At the latest run would be probably like late afternoon and early evening. So it kind of moves the chances for showers and thunderstorms more during the day on Monday instead of early Monday morning. But the big story as we head into the next week is going to be the not only the added heat, but also more humidity. So we're going to be looking at very muggy conditions as we look for those temperatures to uh, bounce around right around 90 degrees, not only for the upcoming work week, but also for the following weekend as well. Mostly clear for tonight, temperatures 50s and 60s. Tomorrow we're looking for those temperatures to warm into the 80s, 70s lakeshore but a lot more humidity to deal with. Here is your seven day planner. And with that, again, the chances for some showers and storms will be with us, but conditions become very humid as we head into, especially the beginning and middle part of the week. We're gonna be looking for another chance for some storms to the north of us on Wednesday and a better chance of showers and storms as we head through the day on Thursday across the area. And the cake